Hello, hello, Teresa Parker with Teresa Parker Art here. Um, today is Sunday and we are going to paint Love Blooms here today. It's gonna be a lot of fun. I have to do this on regular uh, Facebook Live without my stream yard, so, you know, I'm always having problems with technology. But they said stream yard wasn't letting me show everybody all my, my stuff, so, um, when I did it on YouTube the other night, it never went anywhere. So <laughs> I'm going to go direct to Facebook today. I hope everybody's doing good today. You ready? So we are going to paint this. What I did was I, I posted in guides on my Facebook page um, the uh, tracer, which is this. And it's two pieces of paper. It makes an 11 by 14. I just taped it together. And then, as always, I took my carbon paper, laid it down, and traced it out. So, I'm going to try to do this sideways so it's facing you. And let's see what happens. So, I already put out some paint. Get out my napkins here. And what I mean starting with is the island blue and some white. Sorry, I'm really congested with allergies, so I hope I'm not talking too loud. I'm trying not to yell. Um, I'm just going to mix the blue and white here and make it a kind of a lighter blue. I'll mix in a little bit of the darker blue because, just to keep it from being flat. So I don't know if y'all saw the, I did a speed painting on this um, the other day when I was doing my YouTube. For some reason it just did not turn out. It never showed up. So no telling where I sent that video. Who knows who's got it now? So, yeah, I'm not the best with technology. And what I'm doing is <clears throat> I'm going around my painting here. Um, I'm sorry, my tracer here of the flowers and leaves. And you don't have to if you want to freehand it. Uh, you can just do the background and then go in and freehand your flowers and your leaves. But I kind of wanted to show what it was like with the tracer today. And I went over a little bit into the flower and that's okay. So what I'm doing is I'm just using some dark blue and then I'm using the blue and the white, kind of giving it, uh, you know, variants of colors. And I just really like this blue. So, and if you just make like a number eight and go back and forth, it'll blend just a little bit on the canvas. And today I'm using an 11 by 14 canvas board because I think I'm going to try to put this one in a frame. I really like this, this painting um, and I think I'd like to frame this one today and make it, make it, you know, hang it up on the wall. I'm just going to do some of the blue now, make it a little darker here just because. No reason why. Add a little white. Now, if your paint gets a little dried out or it doesn't seem to be going as far as you think it should, you can add a little bit of water. Um, acrylic paint is, is water soluble, so it does thin it pretty good. And we're gonna go in here like this. I'm just gonna go around all my leaves. And let's see, I got some in here. And it's okay if you go over a little bit of the leaf, you can still kind of see where it goes if you're not freehanding. And there's some little lines there that we will create later, and that's just kind of random. So, there's a little bit of white. See, that's a nice little color there. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, go up here. Oops, went over that leaf, but that's all right. I know it's there. Use a little dark blue. Now, for the table, I'm going to stop with the table on this side, and I'm going to finish the other side. So go up here, that right over that little line, but we will put that back in. Sometimes you can actually see the, um, when you trace it with the carbon paper, the paint's light enough you can still see the lines through it just a tad and that works really well. And I kind of tried to make them dark so they would stay in place. And by that I mean I just used a little more pressure when I traced it. 
If you use pretty good pressure, it'll make the trace really dark. And I am just using a, I can't talk and draw my straight lines again. <laughs> okay, so this, this paintbrush is about an inch. And so depending on the painting, if it's smaller, you know, you can do a smaller brush. And this is an angled brush. It actually, I like the angled brush because it helps me get in between the flowers easier. And it's got like a point, so it's kind of a tip on there. So now I'm just gonna make sure that the canvas is fully covered with my color. Make sure I like the color, blend it in where I don't. Like some places are too dark for me, so I'm gonna blend it a little bit. There's some white, okay. Now for the bottom of this, we're gonna go ahead and make it, I'm gonna make it a little bit lighter to start with. And go around here. Oops. <coughs> Excuse me. Kind of mix that in. I'm just making it a little lighter so I can see the difference um, between where the table is and where the background is. And it can all be the same color, it just doesn't matter. You can always draw the line there and it does kind of blend in a little bit. So there's the little table. Alrighty, and this is kind of like where it is here. Oops. Oh, can you hear my Hallmark show in the background? I was watching Hallmark. Yep, I am one of those people. I love Hallmark. Now, I have some white on my brush, so I'm just kind of randomly going like back and forth into my blue to kind of give it a little bit more texture here. Yeah, okay. So, now what I think I'm going to do is think of my next step. Let's go ahead and put in the pinks. Um, I'm going to start with the, I'm using Royal Fuchsia. And I'm going to go ahead and start with the pinks because we definitely want this guy to dry. Um, we want the pinks to dry because there's going to be several layers. So I'm just going to go over this one with the Royal Fuchsia and make it a dark pink. And... I want to make sure I kind of keep them separate because the lines do tend to disappear. So the next one I'll add a little white and we'll make it a little bit lighter and it's got a little blue in it, which is fine. So see, now you see this flower is a little different. So you can tell where the flower starts and ends. And this one we'll make with a little bit of white here. And it can be, you know, these can be any color you want to, if you wanna. I just really like this painting and I like the pinks, um, but you can make it any color. You can use blues or purples or yellows, make them sunflowers, however you'd like. I just thought, I thought it was really pretty with the pink flowers and the black and white base. And I'm gonna use a darker pink again here because it's next to those lighter ones. And I'm going to make, um, oops, got a little white. So we'll just make this dark next to the light one. And what I'll do is I'll add a little white to separate these two right here, just so I know that's a different flower. Um, let's see, let's use a little bit of light up here in this one. Oops, a little dark. Let's make this one darker. Maybe go around here. I'm trying not to make them too thick so they'll have a little time to dry here. And I got that a little too light, so let me put some dark here. So I can kind of tell there's a difference there in the flower. And I'm gonna do a dark one here. 
And I can kind of see that leaf right here. And I'm gonna try to leave that so I can see it and paint that one in. And again, if you go over it, it's no problem. You can always redraw it in. So I'm gonna make this a little lighter here against that and against this. So I know it's a different flower. And make this one a little lighter. This one kind of disappears under the background. And I want to get rid of all the white for sure over here. And let's make this one kind of dark right up here. And there's a leaf. Can I make it dark? And there's another leaf. We can always hide the white later as well. So I'm gonna make this one kind of, I'm gonna make this one really light colored. And then what we'll do is we'll just go over with some dark later. So it kind of doesn't blend in. And there we go there. Okay, and I can put green in here, which will look good. I'm just gonna go ahead and fill that in here. Cover my little, my canvas, make sure everything's covered. I mean, we can cover it later. We are definitely doing more, more layers on here. Okay, oops, I don't wanna forget this flower. And let's see, let's do this one, whatever's on the brush. Kind of a light color and you know these are just kind of blobby that's a professional term blobby flowers we are going to prof make professional blobby flowers that's it okay so i try to do it not so heavy so it'll dry while we're doing the rest of it but i'm going to go ahead and mm, let's see you know i don't think i want to rinse my brush yet i'm going to use the dark blue and my brush has some pink on it let me use a dark blue mixed with the pink and I'm gonna go in here and make this little line right here for the table and over here make sure it's straight across I hope that's about straight across it's hard to see when it's sideways and let's just give a little bit of a shadow and my brush is almost dry. You can see the streaks. It's like a dry brush right now. And what I'll do is I'll go in and blend this out with some white. Let's give a little shadow here. And then maybe over here, I'm gonna get a little white. Let's kind of blend this out. So I grabbed a midnight blue instead of a navy blue and it's turning a little purple on my table, which is fine. I actually kind of like the color and I will add some more blue back in in a moment. And I got some pink out of the flower on that by accident and I really kind of like that as well. As a matter of fact, we might just add a little pink to it. So add some dark streaks and some white streaks just so it looks more like a sitting on something instead of just hanging out there by itself this little vase with all these flowers floating in the air okay so let's see so I hope everybody's doing good today i went went to uh actually went to the opening Astros game on Thursday, so I wasn't able to be live on Thursday, but oh my gosh, we had so much fun, and yay, they won. So sorry if you're not an Astros fan, we won, <laughs> but it was really a good time. I'm just darkening this up just a little bit under the shadow area, um, just so you, know, you can kind of tell it's got a shadow, and I think I'm going to go over it with a little bit of blue, bring that blue back out. And just till I kind of like it. You know, you make it your own colors and do it whatever color you'd like. And I'm going to 
I'll shoot some white in here, lighten it up, and I think then we'll call it done. Yeah, okay. So now I'm going to, let's see, let's go ahead and take, I'm gonna put in the secondary flowers. Let's take some of the pink, and some of the blue and this blue. Let's see what happens. Now, I've just got some butcher paper on here, so on my table, and I'm gonna use a little, let's use a little of that navy blue with that pink, and a little white, and a more navy blue, and more pink. <laughs> let's see what happens here. That's pretty dark. Let's give it some, whoops, drop the white on the painting. That's okay. So, that's a pretty kind of color there. So we're gonna take this purple I just made, and I'm gonna get it almost dry. Um, I want the brush almost dry. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna put some purple flowers in here. Just touch it with the end of the brush. Make it kind of rough looking. Just some additional flowers. And let's put some, where are the other ones over here? Kind of like this. And I'm just touching it with the very tip of the brush. And you know, there's if you have a brush that you normally um, dab with or, or dry brush with, this is great for that. I'm just putting some of the purple down. Again, we will change this color a little bit. And then let's put some right here. We're just kind of blending in uh, I mean, filling in some of those blank spots. I'm just touching it. You can actually see the brush, um, the points of the, the brush here. And we'll put it in here. I'm gonna darken it up just a little bit. And let's put maybe right here. And I'm just barely touching it. I know it probably sounds like I'm banging on it pretty good, but. I'm just using the very end of the brush to give it a, like a stippled look, I guess. Just some purple here and maybe a little more, I think maybe right here. I don't think that was in my original, but I kind of like this kind of needs some purple right here. So do it this way. I'm just barely touching it. And you know, I'm going to, let's put some down this way. I went over that leaf, but that's all right. I want some kind of hanging down into the vase, I think. Give it a little bit of personality. Yeah, I am about to, personality is a good thing. And let's see, I think maybe, maybe in here too with these little leaves here. Just give it a little color. Yeah, I think that's good. And then what we'll do is, let's just take some of the navy by itself. And I'm gonna try to get it as dry as possible here without getting making it purple. Okay, let's try to go over it just a little with some navy. Oh yeah, that's good. And I'm barely touching it with the tip of the brush. I mean, it's like I'm just dropping the brush, see? <laughs> Barely touching it. And that looks good. And a little navy here. And we're not going over all the purple, but we're just adding you know, just a little more depth to it with the dark blue. And it's funny, this is actually called um, Midnight. And I think it is really a lot darker than navy really dark it's like a navy blue mix with some black maybe okay let's go up here we'll put some dark blue in up here again I'm barely touching it with the tip of the brush and I'm kind of trying to keep it as, as dry as I can so oops yeah so there's not like that much but that's all right we can lighten that up later if we need to And I'll bring it over here. 
And then I think we will top that off with a little white. And if we need to, a little bit later, we can go in with some pink. Just kind of give it a little bit of shaping maybe. But for now, we're gonna leave it a little wild. And just put some little white in there. Just some random white. I have not cleaned my brush, so all of these colors are still on the brush. Oh, gosh, I think that TV's a little loud, isn't it? So we got here and a little bit more white. And, and then the last one here with a little white. That's too much, I could tell already. Okay, and do a little white on there. Just some random, random blobs of paint. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and clean my brush. And what we're gonna do now is, let's go ahead and let's do some of, let's do the base of the, the basic part of the leaves. So I'm gonna go ahead and get out some dark green. And this green is foliage, which is perfect because we're doing foliage. So I'm using the same brush just because I really like this brush. As I said before, you get like a, you can get a point and different shapes out of it. So these leaves are kind of like a football. So I'm just going to draw them like a football. And fill them in. And we will be adding to these two so they don't have to be perfect. I'm just kind of getting the location down for now. See where they're gonna be. See, this one kind of got covered. But maybe it was a little smaller, but I wanna make it bigger here. And here's one. And here. So you can kind of see where the the line was here. Let me put this one like this. And kind of blend that in there. And then we'll put a leaf here. And this color is interesting because it's um, kind of a, a lighter color. So we might actually have to go over with another coat. Um, kind of depends on what happens here. So I'm just kind of being careful here because I kind of want the, want the flowers to be in front of the leaves. But when we go back over the pink, we will go ahead and, and make sure that the pink is in front of the green in here. And that actually ended up with some pink and it looks kind of pretty. I am gonna put green right in here. Give it a little separation. And if we don't like it later, we will just cover it with pink. So that'd be kind of neat, you know, with a little bit of green through there that's not exactly a leaf to leave your imagination open. And I am just painting this little bitty one in with the tip of the brush. And then over here, we'll do this. And, and this one is like um, a line that comes out from behind here. And we will paint this in. And I'm gonna make that a little wider to get that, to cover the uh, canvas. There was a little bit of white there on that canvas and I just wanted to cover it, so I just made the leaf a little whiter. And we're just gonna do this like so, our little footballs. Oops, and that one kinda went off there and that's okay, we'll fix that. And 
And you know, I think what we're gonna do is we'll take another one out here. And what I'll do is that kind of makes this one look a little better. We'll make this one a little bigger. And then we just kind of blend it in. And that looks a lot better. Okay, so now, and these are going off this side, so we're good there. Oh, forgot these little guys. I always forget the one at the bottom. So let's go ahead and do this one. And we'll do it this way. And then this one. Get this painted in. I'm gonna cover that canvas a little better here. Every once in a while you just kinda miss the canvas. Okay, and that's the white where I dropped the white paint, which actually works really good right there. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to clean out my brush. Now, what I'm gonna do is we're gonna, I'm gonna work on the, uh, the actual vase. And I don't want it to be a solid white background, so I'm just gonna get a little bit of the white and the blue, kind of fill it in here, just so I know where it's at. And give it a little texture. And when we cover it, it'll be a lot different, but at least we can give it a little bit of color in the background for now. I'm gonna cover that little piece I did right there. And when we cover it in white, it'll disappear. So just a little bit of color. Okay. Now what I'm gonna do is, let's go ahead and let's get the black. Nope, let's do the white. Why I think about that. Let's go ahead and do the white first. So the white one, the white stripes are like, here's one. And try to follow that pretty well. Okay. And then the other one's here. Trying to be careful around the, the flowers, but you know, every, every once in a while I'll go over it, we'll just go back over that with some purple. And let's see, we got this one here. to be more careful with the black lines. Okay. Now I'm just gonna wipe that off and now let's do, let's uh, work on the black lines. Oops, that's a lot. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go in here and I'm going to just get it into the paint and make my tip as flat as possible. Right, so. And I'm gonna start here. And here. You know me and my, I can't draw straight lines and talk at the same time. So, oops, I went into the white a little bit, but that's all right, we'll fix that.
illustrator here. This one. Oops. Okay. Yeah, I can't talk and, and, and do the straight line, sorry. So it gets real quiet, <laughs> which isn't bad sometimes. Okay, and then the very last one here. Made that a little thicker, but that's okay. It'll look okay at the end. And let's see, the flower goes over here, I think. Mm -mm -mm. I think I might have to pull that flower out a little further so it covers, because it doesn't look like it covers the vase. So if we have the vase come like this, right? And then up in here, I can do that with a liner brush even. So there's the face. And it comes up like this. And then around like this. I think, well, that should be black right there. Okay, and then we'll have the pink all fixed up there in a moment. So right now we've got the black. Oh, you know, I'm gonna clean this out and I'm gonna use a little detail brush with some black. And I'm gonna go in here and kind of fill this in here. Because that is where Going through where the purple isn't. So we're just going to fill that in roughly. And up here will be white. So let me clean that out. I'll get the white and fill in this blue right here. And I see a little bit more black. So I'll put the black up in here and cover the blue. So where I can see blue, I'm just replacing it with black so it looks like you can see the vase through the breaks in the flower. Okay, so let's see. I think a little more white to get rid of the blue up here. And we should be ready to go to the next step. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna let the vase dry. And while I've got the little detail brush, let's go ahead and we're going to use, I'm gonna get out some light pink. This is actually taffeta. And I think in the original I used what? I used the, the pink tourmaline, but this works really good. So we're just gonna put in some little squiggly lines the flowers right and 
gonna go through every flower, give you some little squiggles. So you can kind of see, it gives it a little bit of definition, but nothing specific. So your mind can actually look at it and it knows it's a flower. It's kind of interesting that way. And there's one in here that's kind of hidden. And I'll just keep reloading so I don't put too much on here. And I'm going to use this on all the flowers. And I'm going to put a little thick up here because the blue's kind of shining through a little. I didn't want it to. Just give them all some little lines. Start making them look more like flowers. And on the traceable, there are lines, and you can follow the lines if you want to, or make your own lines however you'd like. Just some squiggles. Now I'm gonna get some of these done in here. This one's really a light colored flower, but it's gonna pop pretty good when we add the black. Okay, go over this one. As long as you make sure you get every flower Oops, got a little too much paint on that one. <laughs> That's okay. And this last one here. Okay, so now, oh, I gotta get this one down here. squiggly lines in. That's technical term too, squiggly lines. I'm sure that's technical term somewhere. It's uh, in my book it is anyway. <laughs> okay. So now we've got a little bit of the pink on the pink so you really can't see a lot of difference there. It's just a little bit. So now what we're going to do though is we're going to go ahead and we're going to take the black with the same detail brush and let's go ahead and we're going to go out outline all of the flowers, very thin black. Just so you get a little more detail. Like so. And this one is on top of the other one. Just gonna outline all the flowers. Try not to put my pinky down in the pink because I know I'm gonna be dragging that pink around and mess it all up. But it's hard. I, I always put my pinky down to get a little control with the with the little brushes. Okay, how I can here. Just put a little outline here. And I just keep reloading my brush just to make sure I have enough paint that it doesn't drag and disappear like that. Just get enough paint on here. And do it like so. And 
this one, we're going to put um, like this. And we'll have one kind of hidden. And this one we'll put on top, the light colored one. Oops, I just drugged the pink. And that's okay, because we can definitely go over the pink and hide that. And so now I know where all my flowers are, because sometimes they kind of blend in so well together, they're hard to see with that same color. So let's separate this one real quick. We'll do it like this, oops. And I'm gonna cover that pink. Oh, I don't wanna forget this guy either. So the little one at the bottom always gets forgotten. Okay. Alrighty, so we've got everything outlined here. And not to be left out, we're gonna also do the leaves. So let's outline the leaves while we've got the black. And we'll just outline every leaf. Make it stand out a little more. Don't want to forget this one, so we're just going to do it now. There we go. Now it's starting to really come together. You see a lot of the detail. Bring it up like this a little bit. And again, if it's too thick or if it's too much, then I can always go back over it in green. And we still have a little bit to add to the leaves anyway. So we'll cover anything we don't like. And we'll put this little one in the front. Okay, and let's do it up here. Get these little guys. And you can see when there's not enough paint, it kind of drags a little bit and leaves a little bit of a, it's kind of an interesting, almost a texture. So it's, I try to get enough without getting too much. Here. Oops, got it in the pink. Okay, let's not get it in the pink. Put that there. Okay, fortunately, black covers everything. Get that up here. Okay, we'll do this one a little thicker here. And this is a leaf here, so I'm going to go ahead and outline this one and this one. Get this one up here. Okay. And that's kind of just foliage in here. So we'll add a little green to that in a moment. But let's go ahead and take the black and we're gonna go ahead and add this to the flowers as well on the inside. Just a little bit on each one. I'm not covering the other pink color. I'm just kind of going in between it so that it will really be able to be seen with the black. And we'll 
gonna go every flower and this one this is when you can kind of add a little more detail if you want or less detail if you want however you'd like to do it I'll just bring the color out in the flowers Yeah, we went out yesterday and I got picked up some 11 by 14 frames over at Hobby Lobby. They were on sale. And so I went ahead and got some canvas boards, 11 by 14 like this one. Thought, oh, this, because I really like this painting. I think it'll look good framed. I just have to figure out what color frame it should be. Maybe the blue or, I'm just not sure. Because it's kind of a, it's not really a finished frame. It's kind of a weird looking frame but I might just stain it. Okay, so now we've got the black on the flowers. I'm gonna rinse out my brush and I gotta rinse it out really good with the same detail brush once I get all the black out. I'm gonna use this light green. And let's see, hi Sharon, hi Felton, hi Kathy. Thanks for watching Kathy, I saw you on there earlier. Sorry, I was focused. I can't talk when I'm focused on my lines. Okay, so I'm going to take this green, and we're just going to give it a little bit of a, a streak and personality in here. Get it like this. We're just going to give it some green color, some of the light green, just to kind of make it pop a little bit so it looks like Greenery, oops, and we'll go back over that. Let me fill that in. We'll go back over that in black. And right here, we'll go this way. And kind of highlight all the leaves here. And it doesn't matter how you do it, as long as you're just adding some bright color. Now this one is kind of nice because if there's any of the blue canvas still shining through, this is when you can get it. <laughs> so I got that. I'll get here and don't want to forget these guys. Okay, so I think we've got everybody. Don't want it to be too perfect. Okay. Alrighty, so I'm going to rinse that off, and now I'm going to go back to the white. And we're going to take the white, and the white will make everything kind of pop. We're just going to put a little bit of highlight on each leaf, and then we will also go back through and give the flowers some highlights. A little bit of highlight here. Kind of make it pop a little bit. And this isn't so much a light source as it is just making it brighter. And bringing out the colors. Because I know the black makes it pretty dark. Okay. And now let's use the same white and let's go over on the flowers. And we're gonna just go ahead and give the flowers a little bit of white. What's nice about the flowers, I also got some red out in case they weren't bright enough, but I think these look pretty good with these colors. The white will help bring out the colors pretty good. And 
Straight lines can't talk when I'm drawing lines, can I? Shoot, I can't draw a paint. Talk when I'm painting crooked lines. Okay, get the white on here. White on here. And I hope everybody's having a great Sunday today. It's gorgeous here. It's a good spring day. So I think I'm gonna probably go out and mow some of the yard today. We'll go here. And these are just my technical term, squiggly lines or curve lines. Uh, whatever you think looks good at the moment on that flower. And my little white spot there. And it kind of worked right, worked itself right in there. So we'll just do that. That was that little blob I dropped. And getting there. So I'm direct Facebook Live, so I hope y'all are hope y'all can hear me and see me. I didn't have to mess with speakers or anything today. So Facebook has decided they don't like certain things. Um, and I the one I was using where you could see me and my hands, they don't really like that product on anymore. So if I if I use it, nobody sees it. Isn't that funny? Okay, so I think that's good. Oh, forgot the little flower at the bottom for this poor little one. Okay. Put it on here. Kind of went over the black, but I think that's all right. Okay, so now what else I'm going to do with this while well, I've got a little bit of white on it is I'm going to go ahead and give it a little bit of a shine here. Right. And a shine over here. And this is just a white line. And I want to make sure it's full paint. I don't want anything to show through. Okay, and it kind of goes down there into a smaller tip. And over here the same thing. Oops. And I'll just kind of fill it in. Alrighty. And maybe a little lower here. Yeah. Okay. And a little here. Let's go ahead and give it a little bit of shine so that it's not all dark. Okay. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put some more white in the bottom down here to brighten it up a little bit because it just kind of faded and got a little dark. I'll kind of blend it in a little bit. So it's not all lines, but of a dry brush now. So I've got that. And I just turn the brush on the side and it's kind of a dry brush just to kind of blend it a little bit. It was just a little dark. I, you know, it's, it's already dark enough with all the black, but I didn't want the table to be too dark. But I will take the black and I will draw the table line here. Just so we have a definite end to the table. Okay, and then, <laughs> what do you think so far? Is it good so far? So now, this is really what I would do if I wasn't putting it in a frame. And I'm gonna put it in a frame, but I wanna show you what it looks like anyway. So let me get, I'm gonna get a flat brush, like, I'll get a big flat brush, like this, a big flat brush. I'm gonna get some black. Now, if this was on, especially on a regular canvas, I paint the sides on the canvases. So I would just paint the side here and I would kind of bring the black in a little bit and I am just barely touching it, kind of letting it touch the front. 
and it kind of gives it a little bit of an antiquish look or a framed look. So if it was on a canvas, I mean, it would have a black frame around the outside and this would be on the inside and it would look really, really good. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it on here and we're gonna see when I get it framed. I might not frame it after all if I do this, but we'll see. So on a regular canvas, you know, you can make the outside black and that way it's not just canvas. Oh, sorry, I think the camera's bouncing a little bit. I try not to do that. Can you see how I'm doing that? I'm just pulling it from the edge in and let, I'm probably getting black little dots all over me. <laughs> so I may need to turn it and do the side. I'm just barely bringing it over and letting it kind of drag onto the front, just the very tip of the brush. You can kind of hear it. And like I said, I'm probably slinging black dots all over me. I'm, I'm more good at, I think I paint myself more than I paint canvases or get more paint on myself than I do my canvases that way. So we'll do it this way and let's see what this looks like. And then I'm just have to touch it up and go over it maybe a little bit again. A little more paint in areas. Oops. Like that, but not like that. <laughs> and that's okay. I can cover that with blue if I need to. I got a little oopsie. So, there we go. Now, that's it. So what do you think? See the outside edge? Doesn't look too bad, does it? That was a lot of fun. <laughs> I enjoyed that. So I hope y'all had a fun time watching and I hope you paint along sometime and I appreciate you watching and I hope to see you again soon. I will be on here again. Oops, it's tilted. <laughs> Tuesday night live at 6 p.m. Central Time and I hope to see you there. I'm just not quite sure what I'm going to paint yet, but it'll be something fun. See you then. Thank you. Bye.